it's me Stormy and today I'm going to talk about Juno in Pisces. So to get this energy into the commitment zone, Juno in Pisces wants a special spiritual bond, right? They want to share their ideas with their partner and they want to speak intuitively about them. They want to speak compassionately to um, with their partner and to their partner and about things in the world. They're going to be attracted to somebody who has this kind of intuitive, sensitive thing about them, right? They're also going to enjoy a partner that maybe is into spirituality. What about music or animals or poetry or those kinds of things where we can express this intuition and this spirituality that way? Now, one of the things about this placement they have to pay attention to is that they can really withdraw right when they're frustrated or scared or they don't want to confront something they can really withdraw and this is no good because ultimately what does it do it puts them in this fantasy world where that's not handling any really human problems where they have to get confrontational a little bit and the other thing they have to be careful of is because they can be so sensitive and and charming in this very fantasy and imagination kind of way not to use it as subtle manipulation against other people to get their way right because this is the thing in this placement what they can do is subtly manipulate and then play the victim right so it's very important that they stay current with their reality and um, learn to be a little bit more assertive with themselves now what's beautiful is that when you have this person as a, a partner or when this placement commits um, or partners they are imaginative they are creative they are playful they are very emotional but if this is your bag if this is your ish this placement feels very good to you usually um, they do have a hard time with just the harshness of the world. So I do tend to think like this is a wonderful placement for somebody who's like maybe even out in the world and really deals with a big crazy job or something where they take on a lot. And when it's in the come home space, they need somewhere soft to be able to process and process under the light of compassion. Wonderful energy for that. All right, guys, this wraps us up talking about the set of asteroids. So I've got more goodies coming for you because we're still doing 90 videos in 90 days. So look out for the fun that will be coming up for us starting tomorrow. All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, click down below, grab your mini retrograde um, appointment before they're gone, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, thanks so much for watching my video and stopping by my channel. I hope you like the video, comment, share, definitely subscribe because we're doing 90 videos in 90 days on this channel. New learning content every single day, a minimum of one video every day. So I hope to see you back tomorrow.